Welcome to another episode of our ranking of races. So our uh, current rankings, our top three places go to Ridge Racer 6 on the Xbox 360 at third place, Blur in second place also from the Xbox 360, and the 3DS Mario Kart, Mario Kart 7, is currently our number one in our list of races. Remember we've got over 100 racing games to rank and we'll keep on ranking them and keep making racing games, we'll keep on ranking them. And this week we've got Speed Racer and Sonic Team Racing, or sometimes known as Team Sonic Racing, whichever way you want to say it. Anyway, it's the newest of the Sonic Racing games. So let's check both out. Um, for legal reasons, there is no music audio for Speed Racer, because obviously it's based off Speed Racer the movie, so the possible the music might get flag flagged. But I can tell you now, the music is pretty good. Similar to the movies, depending on how much you like the movie. So let's get into it. So what's good about Speed Racer? Let's get rid of our rankings. So what's good about Speed Racer is that it has a good tutorial. Now it is in separate steps, but it does go through everything. So it's kind of good and bad. So at least it has that. So if you've lost your instruction manual somewhere, at least that's handy. We're going to do just three races or just choose some random races. I'll go for the second class, the middle class. It's got four classes. So a bit like Mario Kart it gets harder in speed and obviously class four. It's just a mirror mode, so all the traps tracks are flipped left to right. So on class two, and then we've got a bunch of different areas with tracks, and there's various tracks in those. So let's just do a random free at that. They do vary in style. See, it says short, medium, or long. Um, I think for the sake of showing off in this video, let's go for short. And we've got a bunch of different characters, everything from Speed Racer, a bunch of other ones. Some are in the movie, some aren't. Well, not as shown. I mean, you've got your key characters like Speed Racer and Trixie. So let's show off a few different races as well. Obviously, each race is restricted to the car, a bit like in F-Zero. And as you'll see from the gameplay, this is very, very similar to F-Zero. I'm using the Wii Remote steering controls here. Um, what's other special about Speed Racer as well is that you can use car foo. So it's like these stunts in the car, and you can do spins and knock out other opponents. We also can make alliances with other players. You're like, oh, I want to be your friend and I'll keep an eye at you. So I'll show you now. Oh, it doesn't show it. But in a championship, you could make an alliance. Let's get into it. It's a little bit odd without the music, but we can do a bunch of different tricks like this. And if you land on a person, you think you can build up boost if you build up four chunks of boost you go very fast now if we'll get that in the short race i'm not sure so we might do one long race just to show that off obviously it's got some very colorful tiles some speed boost pads um i think it still holds up very well visually as well a little bit dated because it's not obviously in hd but i think it still plays really well and that's the main thing and i still had a good time when i came back to it to test out for this episode. There's some of that shut there, so I'll get us some points and it's going to slow down that. So you have like a health bar as well. Nice. Got a smack down there. Right, if I can build up one more speed boost, we're able to show what happens if you get four speed chunks. Okay, let's see if we can get this extra speed chunk here. Oh. There we go. It's very trippy. Very quickly. So this gives you extra speed as well. There you go. That example of one race. So you can see, like I said, it's got a good sense of speed. Plays well. You can also watch a replay as well. Let's head in. We'll do a medium track and we'll choose a different character this time. So now I've chosen Trixie and I've chosen to do a Grand Prix just to show off the alliances. So if you go down to this menu, alliances, you'll see different people asking for alliances. So I can accept it and they'll show up as allies in the race. You can also request some as well, but they usually like deny you like, uh, you're not good enough for something. Let's begin this race. Now we're in like a Fiji type place. Very sunny. But yeah, it still plays and it's still fun to play even without the music, but I highly recommend having the soundtrack on if you get round to playing it. Right 
obviously it depends on how much you like the film or speed race in general might affect it how much you want this but the fact that we didn't really get an f-zero racer on the wii means this is a good alternative plus for a change for, compared to some other racing games on the wii um wii controls work really well i was pleasantly surprised when i came back to it digging out a wii remote and seeing that hey you know what it still plays all right Ooh. Me driving and talking, not so good. So some corners you can do like a drift, like this, and then snap back in. I find it some useful sometimes. There you go. You see, that's an ally, so we need to make sure we keep them happy. I love the like the comic book cartoony look of like speed up. Um, like I said, the tracks are very colourful and some good designs as well. Uh, loops, this is some jumping over a volcano. Time right, you can do a trick over it. Oh, I think we're actually going down the volcano this one. Like, ideally, maybe there'd be more tracks or more areas, but I feel like there's plenty of tracks. It's more like locations isn't as much, but I didn't really get too annoyed at that, so. It handles well, I've not really had any issues. Uh, when you, this is the only thing I found when you're in this boost one, it really doesn't let you like move along, but you keep going, so I don't think skidding along the side really affects it. So, and we don't really get enough like um, futuristic racing games. Not to do like the F Zero like loops and that. So, but we will have some more in episodes of ranking the races. Notice I've had to put the mic to one side because that's the only problem when you're recording. Oh, time to use my help. So you use some of your boost to heal yourself. Oh. Yeah, no one's keen on Trixie's car. But yes, if you haven't seen the movie, I'd highly recommend it. And if you've got a Wii, you're looking for a futuristic racing game, then if you can find this at a good price, I'd highly recommend it because you'll have a good time. And this is one of those games I'm always like thinking of now. If you could have choose, if someone could say, have what game would you like to have a HD remake? This is pretty high on the list, to be honest. Like a HD remake and like normal controls, like a standard controls, would be interesting to see how it would play out as well. But obviously, the shunting with the Wii remote can be a little bit, a little bit fidgety. It tends to recognise it. Just I mean, it feels weird to try to be steering and then moving your hand across something. Some tracks are quite long, so we'll do one more race after this to show off a different character in a different location as well. And I don't mind the banter, it's not too bad, but it definitely has like you're going for a comic book aesthetic look. So, oh, you got a penalty there because I accidentally hit speed by mistake. Oh, we've got special boost. You get some like really cool music when you're doing this super boost as well. It hasn't given me too much motion sickness either. I thought it might do, but it hasn't. You can even do like full spins as well to try and take out other people. When you do your shunt, if it depends on which way you're holding the D-pad. Depends on which way you go. Right, let's go down here. Whoop. That's a little bit disorientating. Yeah, it's got 16 races. That feels like quite good. I know it's not as many as like some other stuff like F-Zero, but I feel like it's still like a good amount to have on the track. 
Obviously it lacks online multiplayer. I believe it has local multiplayer. A lot of insults, aren't they, these ones? But generally like a good racing game. And a fun racing game as well. And I've got a special boost. Okay, here we go. Build up extra boost with like the drifting and stuff, but I say if the one thing that takes a little while to get used to is the drifting. Come on, yes, go. On. Oh, oh dear. Uh, yeah, and occasionally it goes terribly wrong if you get stuck on something, but. I like how other people are getting hit as well and stuff, so it doesn't feel like the AI is stuck on like a linear pathway, do you mean? They seem quite active in the shunting and taking damage as well. Which is always good when the AI feels more like actual players and not just like, oh, we're all following exactly the same route and break at exactly the same time. Come on. Yes. And yeah, I like the little slowdown as well when you do a shunt. It gives you a little bit of time to recover as well. Oh. Okay, there's Trixie. So let's load up one more last race to show you a different location. Then we'll decide where it's going to go in our listing. Right, so for this last race, I've chosen a mirrored and maximum speed as well. Just so you can see the speed difference. I quite like this set as well. It's got some nice bright orange colours as well. And we've gone for Colonel Colon. I thought I'd just show off a vehicle that looked a little bit different. He seems to have quite balanced stats, so I think I thought I would go for that one. We can see how much faster it is already on this max speed, so. Also, we've got 20 players on this one, so. Looks like the difficulty might also ramp up the um, number of players as well. well but yeah, from playing it now, this feels a lot faster as well. Ooh. Nice. Boost bash there. Like I said, there's lots of different ways to take out bad guys here. What other races? So it really just focuses on the racing. There's no, like... You don't have to worry about spoilers, there's no like links to the story, there's no like story mode or links to like the plot in the movie, so... Which is both good and bad, like sometimes people like that in racing games, so sometimes it's like, yeah, it kind of feels a bit weird. You just want them to focus on like championships and the tracks and the racing, so... Like I said, visually colourful, everything seems to be alright, I don't really see much popping. There's obviously a little bit of like anti-aliasing and stuff, bro. It's just because it's not a HD game. I mean, it isn't quite as sharp and clear, but weirdly enough, after playing it for a while, I, my mind just switches off that it's not in HD. I'm just like in the flow and enjoying it. But that might come on whatever level of how much you enjoy retro games. Well, it's a lot quicker on that as well. So let's bring up our ranking. The background, we can just have our replay so you can see what that's like. You replay. Let's bring up our current rankings. So, I've had a think about this, and I think scientifically on a race game, because it's about enjoyment, but it's also how good the racing is and how well it holds up. Like, someone here on the list may be new and they kind of like look visually fancy and impressive, but it's about how much actual fun. Now, I was torn when I was doing this list. I think from the gameplay perspective as well, like I was going to put it after Ridge Racer 6, but Ridge Racer 6 drifting is a little bit more jank. And I did have more fun with this as well. You know what? I'm going to be brave. I'm going to put it 
after I'm gonna put it above Ridge Racer 6 I know that's a bit controversial and some people are like what about these games down here but I think it's in the age of this game it's um it still holds up pretty well compared to like some of the games on here like I remember being great at the time like Destruction Derby but they just haven't quite aged as well this is done really well for a Wii game to age as well as it has so let's add that into our list so it'd be after blur we're gonna put speed racer and this is the Wii version so let's save that and that should be updated on our list yep there it goes so you go new third place to speed racer but we're gonna swap over to um, Sonic Team Racer now and let's see how well that does so we'll be back in one second next up we have team sonic racing now team sonic racing is a little bit different from the other sonic racing games because you work in teams and we have three types of vehicles we've got a speed type so they have a radial burst rush destroying any incoming projectiles um we've got a technique type they can drive across any type of surface without slowing down and then we've got the power type they can smash through hazards without experiencing slow down so we're going to do three races we'll show you each of these speed types there's a great selection of modes we've got a single player mode there's local multiplayer online multiplayer a garage where you can like customize your vehicle um, you can unlock coins for this gacha palm machine to unlock more parts which is free no microtransactions here so we're going to jump into a single player race and show off some of that right first up we're going to show you a speed type so we've chose sonic um so team sonic racing Oh, so we've got AI friends is the rest of our team. Tails and Knuckles, of course. So Team Sonic Racing is definitely like a kart style racing game. Colourful tracks, interesting tracks of different Sonic locations. And there's like items to pick up. We can slipstream here behind Knuckles to get some extra speed. And then do a slingshot. Um, as you can see, my vehicle is pretty much customised from before. And obviously you can do some drifting to build up bonus speed boosts as well. Oop. You can even pick up items and pass them along to other people on your team, which is a pretty cool feature as well. So we're just playing on normal, but um, heads up on this game compared to some of the other Sonic Race games. This the difficulty is um oh a lot harder. I got hit by something. There. So like they can go on that beach because it's a different service, and we're going to stick here. But if we were the power type, we could have gone that way once you get used to what the items are it's all right like they're not as clear let's say some other cat races but you got usual like missiles and bombs and stuff oh man i'm <laughs> having a hard time driving and talking well there we go but yes the ai does keep up with you pretty well so we've got like a rocket and you can shoot items behind you as well if you hold it behind you like I said lots of iconic Sonic locations quite a few locations from newer games as well like I've seen some levels from um, Sonic Colors as well which by the time you're watching this will be the new HD remaster of Sonic Colors will be out as well But yes, most people go straight to Mario Kart for their kart racing, but um, yeah, I shouldn't dismiss Sonic because, you know, these are pretty solid um, racing games. That's a block I can put behind me to slow people down. Now, what's missing from previous Sonic games? Obviously, the vehicle transformation has disappeared, which is, which is a minus a negative note on the game, but... If you're playing it as just a Sonic Kart racing game, this is pretty solid to me. There you go. So that was a speed type. Uh, not really much show off there. That was kind of just felt like a normal race with the speed type. But hopefully um, the technique and power types will show you some more. So let's head over to the next type. So here's the type that can go across any of the services. So if we see any shortcuts, you should be able to cut through them. There we go. Another classic Sonic location. Casino World. The pinball table one. 
Like I said, the music's great. There's a few songs actually I've got stuck in my head before now as well. But yes, the team dynamic works really well. You can also do single race as well, as in like not in teams. But um, I like the dynamic of the team. But if you just want to like a everyone against everyone, then it doesn't really hurt. You're probably more likely to go for speed in that type. But it all depends on your playstyle, actually, to be honest. So if you like taking the shortcuts and stuff, then that's up to you. We've got some speed pads here. But yeah, this is where it comes important. You can check on your plate position, and then depending on what position you're in, you might be like, oh, I'm a bit behind, but I want to give an item to someone else. Doing So I can just press a button and offer it an item. If I'm like in front, I'm like, oh, I could use these blockers. So depending on your items, like if I get like the rockets, it might be my benefit to pass them to another teammate who's further behind so they can catch up. Plus it's ideal you can't always see like how well your team's doing, what's the position of your team. So we know where Sonic and Knuckles is now, but we know where our team is overall, so we're in second place at the moment. And that helps. Like I said, this plays really well. We're playing on the Xbox One version. But it seems really smooth, it's colourful, it's bright. That's special boost, we all get that as well, so. I'll see how much you love Sonic and interest in Sonic might have an effect on how much you enjoy this game. But as a kart racer, it's pretty good. Like, I'm going to say more than good, so. Most people consider like, oh, just Mario Kart is like the best and then nothing else is. But this is solid quality. Like there's there's a lot of other kart races, but they're kind of just like, you play them and go, oh, you're having a bit of fun, but you can see it. They're a bit janky or they just lack that spark, but this is definitely got that spark to it, so. Okay, here we go. I've not noticed any shortcuts here. Some areas and locations, like that one we did on the beach, are more likely to have a good location for shortcuts than, say, this one, but... This might have it as well, I might have just not spotted it. But yeah, drifting around corners is really important to get that extra speed boost up. I'm falling behind a little bit here. Oh. Okay, it's a good time to blink shot behind Knuckles. Okay, we've got some speed boost here. A lot of these tracks sometimes have like multiple routes as well. Even in like the casino levels, if it's just a simple left or right or something. Okay, we've got super speed here. Also, on some jumps, you can use your right stick to do some tricks as well. I can find a good jump, I'll show you that as well. But overall, yeah, great music. Great pacing, great sense of speed. The teamwork angle is pretty cool. I'd like to see the transformations come back, but but besides that, like I keep fingers crossed they keep making more Sonic Racing games. That's definitely one I'd recommend purchasing. Doing. I like the cart design, like how you unlock different pieces. And you can like build and customize them as well. You can choose quite a lot from like different colors of different styles. Do you know I mean so their original cars look a lot different than what they finally turn out to be? So it's just cars. Like, should they add motorbikes? I don't know. It'd be a cool feature to add. I imagine like Shadow would suit like a a motorbike. Oh come on. Nice. Okay, so that was our um, technique type. Like I said, you're not going to really see much difference. Now we'll do the power type now. Hopefully we'll find a track where there's some good boxes and stuff to bash through. So this is how it does the scoring at the end. You get a bunch of credits and then it puts your 
position so you get different positions so we've got like 15 9 and 8 points and then it'll put them together in a chat and obviously whoever's got the most so this is where ideal if you're playing online play with some friends on your team that'd be a good, good way to work together right let's head over to our next type of racer the power type you can smash through anything so next up is power type and of course how could we have a sonic video without big the cat um, also, I've chosen one of my favourite tracks. I don't know if it's the music or just the track. This is definitely one of my favourites. So I think it's the music, but I like the cool scent as well. I kind of like these sky levels. And this shows time to show off some of these flips and tricks you can do. It gives you a bit of extra speed boost as well. Oh, I've got some spike defending me. Oh, I can I've not had this one before. Like I said, I usually choose speed, so it's interesting to play as the other character. So this is where your flips come in handy to try and get these coins. So I can flip across to get the coins. Oh, I managed to get a few there. Okay, let's go around. That's like I said before, important to try and find the power ups and see. Oh, I should have could have jumped across that balloon there. Let's see if I need to pass it to anyone else. And yeah, it's got like some what I call like anti gravity track things. It doesn't show them as being anti gravity, but obviously, like, hey, I'm driving up the side of this wall here, doing. Oh, I should be able to drive through that same. No. Nope. Okay, the goo does not count as a different service. A little bit weird, you think it would in this type, but. Oh, here we go. We can use this speed slipstream behind KO, because he's KO, the cow. Ah, can never pounce him. On whoever's on our team. Slipstream a teammate to speed up. Chow, I think they're called Chow's section. Whoa, whoa, someone made stone things. That's kind of like a special someone can use it so far behind to slow down whoever's in the first place. Gotcha. Okay, now we can do special stunts here. Gives an extra speed boost there. Okay. Okay, that's a lock on missile there. See so yeah, how visually in impressive as well. Frame rate holds up, it's smooth. Ooh. There's a good bunch selection of characters. Could there be some more characters? Yeah, it's a little bit lower than, say, some other games, but. Oh, we boost. Okay, last lap come up. The music will start to speed up as well on the last lap, which I've noticed in quite a few kart races. That's how they tend to do it, add a bit more tension. Okay, the rest of our team's doing all right. The Chao, 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 the Chao. I'm going to call them Chaos because I've forgotten. Someone might want to correct me, but it's one of those names that just goes blank out my head for some reason. They need to catch up a little bit. I'm in first, so now's my prime opportunity to pick any items to pass them along so they can use them, offer them up. Alright, come on. 
But yeah, once you get the hang of this drifting as well, it's good. Yeah, being able to slingshot as well. Definitely helps. Yeah, this is an overall good game. Like, maybe I need to play this game a bit more, to be honest. Oop, can't. Sneaky speed boost there. Like I said, the levels are full of diverse outdoor, indoor areas, obstacles to avoid. Massive spikes there. Not spikes, um, an axe swinging. Rah, come on. So this is an example. I've come in first here. But it all depends on how the rest of the team has done. Right, there you go. That was Team Sonic Racing. Let's bring up our rankings. And as you can see, we've got Speed Race has been added third place. I'm torn. I'm actually generally torn where to put this now I've played them. As originally I was thinking, hmm, Speed Race ahead of Sonic Team Racing, but Sonic Team Racing's newer. Team Sonic Racing is newer, so maybe that's why the controls hold up. But I think like these controls would hold up a better. Speed Race has got like a cool look and aesthetic, but this has got some cool items and stuff. So you know what? I'm going to put Team Sonic Racing before Speed Racer, which is a little bit different to how I thought this episode was going to go. So let's add that into our list. Even though it's a game, I always seem to forget the name of Team Sonic Racing. And it's definitely one that more people should pick up because, you know what? Definitely one of the better kart races around. And if you don't have a system that has Mario Kart, then... But you know what? I play Mario Kart a lot as well. And I'd equally pick this up and play this as well. So let's update our list. And there you go. A little bit, well, this list is getting longer. I might have to shrink the text a little bit at some point. Um, so yeah, so Mario Kart 7 is still in the lead. And Blur, teams, team racing racing? Ha! <laughs> uh, you know what? Let's quickly change that. Team Sonic Racing. I don't want to leave it as Team Racing Racing. Yeah, I'm trying to talk. There you go, Team Sonic Racing. Never mind. Um, so let me know in the comments which of these you prefer. Do you prefer Speed Racer and Team Sonic Racing? And overall, on our ranking of list games we've got so far, what would you put at, like near the top? Maybe tell me like your top three out of these games so far. What you think? Do you mean? And as always, this is just my opinion. You can have them listed everything but I just want the joy a challenge of sharing all these different racing games with you and having the fun of trying to rank them it's not like a serious thing we're just having fun here and trying to just rank what we think is our favorite and best doing but I've pretty much like looking at this list now I have enjoyed all those racing great all these racing games to some degree so um thank you very much remember to like and subscribe thank you to our patrons as always um, stay safe and join us next time on Ranking of Racers.